guys, we have reached our first stop here on the trip and I'm actually not in Death Valley. I am currently at, as I'm sure you saw from the B-roll, but hopefully you can see it a little bit better here. I am currently at the Trona Pinnacles. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Trona Pinnacles. This was not in the plan for me initially. I am gonna drive because it is a dirt road with really good visibility in front of me and behind me. And I feel confident that I can drive and vlog <laughs> but um i've been wanting to come to the trona pinnacles ever since i saw a instagram or post about them if you are coming from la or if you are going from like southern california san diego area to death valley the trona pinnacles are a really easy stop to make and i do want to say i am in a two-wheel drive Prius, hybrid electric Prius, and I'm on the last less than a mile of road, and as you can probably tell by how much the camera is shaking, this is the roughest part of the road. So quick backstory here, the drive to the Toronto Pinnacles is almost entirely like from San Diego. It's like 99.999% on like paved highways, but this last little bit here, five miles, is on a dirt path, and I was reading a bunch of articles saying like, oh, you need to have have four-wheel drive four by four because it floods there a lot and I was doing my research looks like I turned here let me just show you a slightly better view of the pinnacles as I drive because I'm filming on my Canon G7X you probably won't be able to see them as well as you will in the photos that I'm about to take so yeah I guess I would say that if you do have access to a four-wheel drive or a four by four vehicle then fine but four miles of this path here this dirt road that I'm on to get to the pinnacles was literally like completely smooth. It was just flat dirt. So I don't really feel like it's a necessity. The reason why I did feel like I could come is because I read just as many blog articles from people saying, you know, if you're patient and you're not crazy and you're not trying to like drift or anything weird like that, then you can easily get to the pinnacles in a two wheel drive car. Because I'm doing this trip in the fall, it's only 77 degrees. And I was reading a bunch of articles saying that it can get up to 110 10 degrees here and I did visit Death Valley back in May I'll probably reference that vlog a few times but I'll link it up above now that was my first trip ever to Death Valley and it was 107 degrees and I was like I'm never doing this ever again and I just could I felt like I was melting um, and there was like hot wind and everything so I am currently in the parking lot here at the Pinnacles check it out and for those who do not know because I definitely did not know this beforehand a lot of movies have been filmed here like Planet of the Apes has been filmed here and like some Star Trek episodes from back in the day and there is a little bathroom right there I've heard it's actually pretty clean from the articles I was reading but yeah I really want to get into this I kind of want to be in and out see what kind of cool shots I can get and then we will move on so yeah see you soon the main photo that I want to get I'd have to actually take it I don't know if you can see in the distance that is like a little ridge that's like where I accidentally drove off to for like a hundred feet and then I was like oh wait that's not how you actually get to the parking lot this is the parking lot for the pinnacles as you can see there are two groups that are camping parking's free so i decided i'm gonna just like explore in here and take some shots in here isn't this just amazing like <laughs> so apparently the trona pinnacles and i didn't do a ton of research on this this is just like a one sentence thing that i read these used to be formations at the bottom of a lake like a very very long time ago obviously <laughs> so i think i'm going to try to get some photos in here the only problem is that the sun is right there it is exactly the opposite of the viewpoint that i want to get but i guess that's just going to be the magic of editing put to good use so i am going to try to get some shots and some reels footage around here and then i'm going to go back out from where i came and i am going to take more photos then but i just wanted to say um i if your end goal is the trona pinnacles i've heard amazing things Things about coming here for like seeing the Milky Way at night or like sunrise or sunset but I'm here at about 1 p.m. <laughs> and the lighting is not great and that's kind of like that's like a well-known thing in the photography community if you're coming around noon the sun is just not going to be where you want it to be but that's kind of how it is sometimes when you have multiple destinations that you're trying to get to in a day before the sun sets but overall i would say if you are heading to death valley and you can make the stop it is just like i don't think the camera is actually picking up just like how cool 
this is. This is only a very small section of the Trona Pinnacles. I'm definitely not capturing them in their best light, but it's what it is. So I gotta get to taking some photos so I can hit the road and we can do the rest of Death Valley. So see you in a bit. Hello vlog, I am back. So I just took some photos of this background and like, I like them. I think they're okay, but the main shot that I wanna get is the one that I realized I have to take from back there. So side note, if anyone has seen um, the movie with Moses in it, is it the Egyptian movie, the animated one? One, Prince of Egypt, you know the scene with the burning bush? Obviously that's also in the actual Bible. Doesn't this bush look just like the burning bush from that movie, right? Weird. But I am excited to see some more stuff, so let's get going. mesquite sand dunes and before you're like oh my god like are you okay <laughs> why don't i see any people or anyone around because the parking lot is back there i'm not sure if you'll be able to see it but the cars are back there and no one is this far out there's like a few people that are like just stepped onto the sand dunes but this is a big instagram versus reality moment for me because if you couldn't tell from me flipping the camera around the sand dunes that are closest to the parking lot are covered in these like green bushes. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot the word for a bush for a second. When you think of sand dunes, you probably think of like what you can see kind of out there with like all those untouched, no leafy sand dunes. But just because I've been walking for about eight minutes, my Apple Watch is like, are you working out? No, <laughs> I'm just hiking up some sand dunes in a dress and my trusty Doc Martens, I hope you can see those. I'm really, really well hydrated and I feel safe and I feel fine, but just, I don't know, I am alone. So I think I'm just gonna kind of limit my distance from the car to a 10 minute walk. I am gonna try my best to get some shots here, but I just wanted to say like, if you're like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna go to Death Valley and I'm gonna shoot in the sand dunes and it's gonna look epic. Yes, it will, <laughs> but just know that you're gonna have to put quite a bit of work into it. Like, either you're gonna have to like Photoshop a lot of stuff out, which is like, that's fine, I'm down for that. Or you're gonna have to do like a 20 minute walk from the car, in which case, don't wear a dress. This is a bit of an Instagram versus reality when it comes to the Death Valley sand dunes. You either gotta really work for it and be prepared for a hot, hot hike up some sand dunes with a bunch of camera gear, or you have to be able to Photoshop stuff out. So I'm gonna take some pictures now. I just wanna say while I'm here, because I realize I haven't mentioned it yet, please go ahead and follow me over on my Instagram if you wanna see my feed for like this Death Valley trip. And also I've been getting a lot more into travel in Southern California and I've been getting into really fun reels and stuff like that. So it would mean a lot to me if you could check it out. And also I'm gonna be doing a blog post about Death Valley because I have visited before, like I mentioned in May, and I visited another really popular attraction called the Artist's Palette. And I'm not gonna be doing that today. It's not on the itinerary at all because it doesn't match my November feed, which is like gold colors. I, it worked great for my May feed, which was blue. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing two watches, it's because I need to shoot the gold watch, but I keep forgetting to shoot it every time I go. So I'm wearing it right now. I'm gonna take off my Apple Watch to shoot this. Got two more stops that I'm really, really excited for. So be sure to stick around to the end to get the full lowdown on like the real deal, like the really, really famous spots in Death Valley. So let me take these photos and make it back to the car. Welcome to the parking lot at Zariski Point. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And I'm actually super excited for this stop because I've seen some incredible photos online, but I've heard that the best time to shoot photos here is at sunrise. I think it's like, um, four, it's 4.30 right now. I'm also really, really excited for this one because <laughs> I'm not gonna get sand all over myself like I did at the last stop. And it is paved, yay! <laughs> That made me so happy when I pulled up to the spot and I saw that 
um, the little walking pathway to the point overlook is paved because that just makes it so much easier. Uh, the, the sand dunes were fine, but honestly so far on my list of, I'm doing four stops today, four, that's three, <laughs> I'm doing four stops today, and the sand dunes just didn't do it for me. They were, they were nice, maybe I was there at the wrong time of day, but it was basically golden hour, and I don't know, I would have had to hike pretty far, and like, I'm not hiking averse, I'm actually a pretty avid hiker, but just when it's 94 degrees and you're hiking like up sand dunes, it's really exhausting. Okay, I don't know if this is a risky point or if it's that way, but look at the view over here. Um, hello? <laughs> so pretty. So yeah, I think I'm about halfway up from what I can tell, but I'm really, really excited to shoot here. And luckily for me, it is starting to cool down because it's 4.30 and the sun sets at six. So I am really excited to get these shots and then we'll move on to our next location. So wish me luck, I hope I get the shot. Okay, it's literally 30 seconds later. Like I just vlogged when I was on that bend there. And nope, that is definitely Zabriskie Point right there. And the shot that I really like of this location kind of looks like you need to like walk down in there. So I'm gonna get the lay of the land. I don't really feel like um, injuring myself or dying. And like, that looks pretty slippery down there. So I'll see what I can do. All right, I'm gonna be vlogging, but hiking at the same time. And there's, there is a little path to get closer to the Zaprisky Point Pinnacle. Sorry if I'm not in focus because I really am watching my step. Let me just show you what the little trail looks like. It's not like super sketchy or anything. That's me, <laughs> but it is kind of like a gravelly, obviously really dry um, sand situation. And I want to get to that little crest right there, which will take me literally a minute and just kind of see what the lay of the land looks like just over this ridge because if it looks like I could walk down it. It doesn't look like that from here, then great. But I think um, that's where I literally just was earlier. I think I could set up my camera there and use the zoom lens to like, I could stand there and get the photo in the background. Sorry, there's a group of, I don't, I don't know, maybe Italians? I think there's a big group of Italians. And they're all kind of staring at me and I'm just kind of trying to mind my own business and they're very, very loud. And I'm kind of hoping they go away because I don't, I mean, I'm sure they're perfectly wonderful people, but I just don't feel comfortable leaving my camera up there with like all my equipment and stuff while I'm down here taking photos of myself. Okay, I'm at the little cliff thing that I told you about earlier, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. There's actually a guy down there like jogging, but I just, I'm so tired of these people that are just yelling and getting in my shots, um, and they just followed me out here. Ugh, whatever. Um, but I think I'm just gonna do what I said earlier and set up my camera um, like up there and then come down here and shoot photos because I don't know, it looks like there's a trail right there that leads further down, but just because in the interest of time and my safety, I don't really feel like risking it. But isn't this just gorgeous? This camera is definitely not gonna pick it up really well. And again, I'm so sorry for the people in the background that are yelling, but that's just how it is sometimes when you visit really touristy areas. So let's go to our final location for the day. of the day and maybe I badmouthed the salt flats a little bit too much um, from my last visit but here is why so another Instagram versus reality moment in Death Valley to sort of round out this video a lot of the times you'll see photos and videos on Instagram that makes it look like there's just clean white salt for like that goes on for miles and a lot of the times um, people get really lucky and they can catch the salt flats right after like a big rain and so especially if you come at sunset which I'll show you in a second 
I don't have this today, but the water on the salt flats actually will like mirror the sunset and it's like really, really gorgeous. I've been twice now and I haven't been lucky enough to catch this effect in action, but you know what? I'm gonna appreciate the salt flats a little bit more. So this is the view that I'm currently looking at. Let me turn you around. I don't know how well this is gonna show up again on this camera because it is not my big fancy camera, but something that you should note about the salt flats is that because there is this big like mountain <laughs> in the background, the sun does set a lot quicker here. So you're not really gonna get any like golden hour light, but you do get a lot of like really nice sort of muted tones and stuff. And so I'm pretty sure that like the huge like majority of the salt flats is like all the way down there. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a lot of people walking down that way. My car is all the way back there. And funny enough, I don't know if I can see it here. I, I can't see it here, but somewhere on this cliff, there's a little white sign that shows, I think that's it right there, right above my finger, that shows where sea level is. So I think I'm at the lowest point in the United States right now. I know that it's somewhere here in Death Valley. I'm gonna assume it's here if they're pointing out where sea level is. Um, but I'm just not willing to walk all the way to the real, the real deal salt flats because it's already been like 10 minutes of walking for me and the sun is pretty much set and there's tons of people on the path so I'm like not worried about safety or anything but I will say this is my own fault because of the blister situation but I'm really glad that I packed these sandals because obviously my heels are not touching anything oh my gosh side note I've been sweating so much today my fake tan has completely rubbed off there's also a line right here where <laughs> isn't that kind of I know it's kind of sad but that's where the seam the seam that's where the seam of the orange leather pants that I was wearing like run down the side of my leg and I was like oh my god um but even though I'm not willing to walk all the way to the end honestly I wouldn't get like that cool like mirror reflection anyway and I really think that I can work with this right here and I've been walking for about 10 minutes already and I don't know I just don't want to be walking back in the dark not that not that it would be dangerous or anything because there's so many people that are like still way out there like way farther than I am and I have a flashlight and I've got my phone and all that stuff so I don't know I just I don't want to miss this nice lighting that we have here because you know it's not getting any brighter the sun is setting so I am wearing this super fancy orange dress not to just show you a boob shot that I got from ASOS a few years ago I always get questions about about it. They don't carry it anymore, but um, honestly, I've seen a lot of similar stuff online. Just look up like silky orange dress, but I just really like the tones that I'm seeing right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and film a little bit of reels footage, take the photos, and then I will wrap up this trip. But I will say the salt flats are worth it, but if you really want the full, full effect of like the magic of the salt flats that you've probably seen on Instagram, try your best to plan your visit. So it's like the day after or the afternoon after a big rain and you're way more likely to have just an incredible experience because obviously you need clouds to make it a really amazing sunset and there is not a cloud in the sky right now so yeah definitely worth it to visit the salt flats but um, if you can time it right it will be just like life-changing but yeah let me get to it so I can get this good lighting before the sun sets and I'll see you to wrap up the vlog and give my final thoughts all right, I got the photos. I'm really excited. I think I got some good shots, but it is quite dark. Sun has set. Final verdict on Death Valley. If you have the opportunity to see it and you've never seen it before, I would say, yeah, go for it. Do I think you need to spend more than a day here? No. Do I think it's it's really cool as far as like the fact that it's a really, really ancient area and there's like a lot of really cool like rock formations and things that are literally millions of years old. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong while editing this video, but I'm pretty sure the Badwater Basin like literally used to be underwater, like under the ocean and like here I am walking on it, <laughs> which is so cool. So like it's cool for stuff like that, but I've just been to a lot more national parks that I've just been like blown away by. I like the this one but I don't think I'm gonna come back so that's not a bad thing against Death Valley National Park I definitely think like I said if you can see it go for it and if it makes sense for you to see it you know grab some friends make a trip of it make it fun um, you know take advantage of all the really cool spots but this is not somewhere that I'm like really really planning on returning so I'm glad that I've been here because in the future if anyone's like hey you want to go to Death Valley I'll just be like yeah <laughs> I'm good <laughs> thanks though um, and yeah it kind of feels like you know if you're gonna be living in California like I am for the foreseeable future and you are a photographer 
you know, why not check it off the list? So I hope you really enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe down below. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but um, on this channel, if you happen to be new here, I typically do fashion, lifestyle, and travel content. And today was a very travel focused day. Like this video if you liked it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.